Maddie Glab here with one of the newest members of the Buffalo Bills. It's cornerback Kair Elam. We've got some quick rapid fire questions for you because a lot of us don't know you yet. So we want to get to know you a little bit better. Gotcha. Number one for you, impressions of Buffalo. This is your new, new home. You just landed here this afternoon. What are you thinking of the city so far? I think it's great, man. I think it was really something that, you know, God really blessed me with to be here. So I think everything happens for a reason. You know, I couldn't be more excited to get to work. Bills Mafia is known for being a wild fan base. I know you came from the SEC, so you get it. But what have the interactions been like with Bills Mafia so far? I'm sure when you opened up your Twitter after you got drafted, the mentions were wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the Twitter part, I mean, that's kind of something I expected. But as soon as I got off the plane, people were like yelling at me, <laughs> like <laughs> just happy I was here. So, you know, that's something that uh, I wasn't used to. And I think that's something that I really, I love that. Okay, the suit. You've got some red in your suit. Yeah, it's, it, it just good. looks right. It fits right. Did you have an idea that, that Buffalo was going to draft you here? Because it seems like you got this tailor-made for today. Um, Kind of, sort of, after, our vi after my <laughs> visit here. But, you know, I think, you know, it's something I just, I just fell in love with when I seen it. So I was scrolling through your Instagram, mm -hmm. and I came across a picture of Chucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please take me through that. Why do you have a picture of Chucky uh, with um, some of your football pictures That's kind of like some tradition. Like, I think Dominic easily started. Uh, at University of Florida like 2013 or 12 or something like that and um, basically just like the defensive players bring the Chucky daughter to, to the game the home game so that's something I did um, I picked up since, since I've been since a freshman I've been doing that so um, I don't think it has a meaning behind it it's just something we just always did is Chucky coming to Buffalo nah 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 <laughs> nah, nah, nah that was just something a University of Florida thing okay okay nah. any hidden talents What are you cracking? My whole entire hand. Oh my. You... I can do left and right. All right. That's why he has good hands, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh, honestly, any hidden talents? Um, I'm a big nature guy, honestly. I like, I like nature, and I like uh, trying different restaurants to eat at. What's your favorite meal? My favorite meal? Um, I don't know. I crave different things sometimes, so. Um, some days I might want a, a, a good grilled chicken Caesar salad, mm -hmm. but some days I wouldn't want a uh, chicken wings and fries. Some days I might want, or want to try some pasta. So I, I would crave with a lot of different things. It just depends on the day. Chicken wings and pasta, you're you're in the right place for that. <laughs> um, what's the last thing you binge watched on TV? A binge watch. Um, I say I watched The Blind Side again. I, I watched that so many times when I was younger, I just watched it like last night, honestly. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you did that after you got drafted, watched Blind Side? Yeah, I didn't go out, I didn't do nothing, I just went home. I was tired, I didn't sleep the day before, so, um, you know, I was traveling, so I didn't get to really sleep, so um, I just threw that on and fell asleep watching it. Have you slept yet? Yeah, I slept, I slept last slept night. Good slept last good night. last night. <laughs> yeah, you knew out. you got drafted. The out. nerves are gone. Most You're going to be in Buffalo. Okay, that's good to hear. Uh, what's the best advice you've gotten from your dad and your uncle? The best advice? I, don't, I can't point out one single thing, honestly. But, you know, I think the biggest thing for me, I would just say, just strive for self-improvement and also everything is an evaluation. So you always want to put your best foot forward no matter what. Are you a morning person or a night owl? Morning person for sure. Are you a texter or a FaceTimer? FaceTime, got to. <laughs> FaceTime, because I feel like it's different impress like people can say something but it can like they could uh have like a different like meaning behind it or impression, like I don't know. Somebody can say shut up but like they can also be playing or they could be like dead serious. So like I think yeah, I'm big FaceTime. This is a good place for FaceTiming. A lot of guys like to FaceTime each other. You have a day off. What is Kyer doing with this day off? Got to get a workout in. That could be running two miles. That could be core. That could be mobility. Um, maybe trying a new restaurant. Uh, mm, just watching probably podcasts. I like to watch podcasts. Like I said, I like to learn a lot. So. Learn as much as I can, so it probably can help, like, with like how I go through my day-to-day -day life and how I think and spiritually, mentally, and physically. So, podcast for sure. Got any podcast recommendations for everybody? Um, the Pivot is a good one. Uh, I am an athlete. Uh, 
I like to watch, I like to watch, watch a lot of Darrell Revis highlights. Mm -hmm. well. I see the shoes. What are your favorite pair of shoes that you own? Favorite pair of shoes that I own? That's tough. I have some Grateful Dead, uh, Grateful Dead Dunks. They're like neon orange. And Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like super expensive. So those are my favorite pair. Okay. They're different. They're like furry. Jeez. Yeah. Do you collect shoes too? Nah, not anymore. When I was younger, I sold like, I used to be like a big Jordan collector, but mm -hmm. now I just sold all my shoes. I'm just, I'm stuck on just a few shoes I have now, probably some designer shoes here and there, but I don't know to say I'm a collection of now. Who's your favorite artist to listen to? Kodak Black, for sure, without a doubt. Favorite song? He has too many, he has too <laughs> many. I don't think I have a favorite song. What's your favorite app on your phone? Favorite app? I say Instagram, for sure. Because you can learn, you can learn on Explore page. You know, everything that you look at, it like amplifies some more stuff like just like it so I would say yeah, Instagram and you can also connect with people you can message so yeah, for sure Instagram for sure any pregame rituals I always have to have a gallon of water before a, game, a gallon of water because I sweat a lot so a gallon of water for sure but like I don't know I think I do different things every game so I don't really have like a, something I need to do in order for me to play well like nah I would just say, you know, I just get out in the water. I would say, I always have to, that's religiously, I always have to do that. And last question, what's one thing that you want Bill's Mafia to know about you? I'm coming here with an expectation to have an immediate impact. You know, if that's special teams, if that's, you know, competing to start right away at corner, you know, I'm coming to have an immediate impact and I'm going to challenge, you know, the guys in front of me and the guys who I'm facing each and every week. Um, because I feel like I'm an ultimate competitor. You know, I really believe I'm an ultimate competitor and everything I do, I'm trying to strive to win. So, you know, just, you know, I'm looking forward to just helping my team as much as I can and learning as much as I can. So that's something I just want Bill Mafia to know. I love it. Bill's Mafia. Kyrie Elam, one of the newest members of the Buffalo Bills.